My name is Ryan Page and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we'll be discussing placing and quantifying basic reinforcement in construction modeling. Specifically, the intent of this video is not to provide a how-to, but a brief overview of what is possible with reinforcement when using a construction modeling license. If you're interested in learning more about the tools to place reinforcement, links to our video tutorials on our Tecla User Assistance website will be provided at the end of this video. For this video, we'll be covering the following key points. We will provide a brief demonstration of placing basic reinforcement using rebar sets as well as custom components. We will then quantify the reinforcement via the organizer as well as reports. So with that, let's begin. As previously stated, this video covers what is capable using a construction modeling license. So make sure to choose construction modeling as your configuration. We're going to create a new blank model you can name it whatever you'd like and place it wherever you need to. I'll be using the name Rebar Quantities. It's important to ensure that we are using the Cast in Place Rebar Detailing Template, as this has filters and settings specific to the task at hand. All the tools and capabilities for reinforcement in Tecla structures are available for use in construction modeling, with one notable exception, the ability to number and provide piece marks on the bar themselves. This feature is reserved for a rebar detailing license. If you are using construction modeling but need the ability to number the bar, you should reach out to your account manager for more information. So now that we have our model, I'm just going to go and add a few common types of concrete parts. We'll add a slab, as well as a wall. We'll also drop in a couple of columns, and one rectangular and we'll change one to a circular column. And then also we'll go ahead and add a continuous footing for good measure. Now that we have our concrete, we can start placing some basic reinforcement. First we'll start by using rebar sets and then we'll move on to some of our components from the applications and components catalog. The rebar set tools can be found on the concrete ribbon in the rebar set dropdown. These tools provide a few methods for creating reinforcement as you can see on screen, and are covered in our online tutorials. For now, we are going to use Create Rebar by Face on both the wall and slab in our model. We will need to ensure that direct modification is turned on from our selection toolbar. We can use our contextual toolbar to choose which axes we want to apply the reinforcement, what face of concrete it is applied to, as well as the overall boundary of the region. First, we'll apply the bars to the overall region of the wall. We'll choose the nearest face first, and then choose the opposite face from our perspective. It's important to note that we can change the grade, size, and type of rebar we are placing at any time, whether it be before we place the bar or after we place it by selecting the rebar and editing its properties in the Properties pane. Next, we'll do the same for the slab, but only for one face this time. Then we'll select the slab and adjust the concrete cover in the properties pane so that the rebar is placed as a central mat. Another way to add reinforcement is through components found in the Applications and Components side pane. There are many components for specific reinforcement applications, such as columns, beams, meshes, footings, stairs, and many more. To start, we'll search the Applications and Components side pane for continuous footing and utilize the tool specific for placing reinforcement on that type of concrete. Then we'll move on to the column reinforcement components. By double-clicking the component icon, a dialog box will appear. This is common for most components in Tecla structures, and it is here that you can control the configuration of what you are placing, similar to the Properties pane for rebar sets. The only difference now is that the dialog has graphics and fields for a specific use. The dialog boxes will differ from component to component. Once you've specified your settings, simply apply them and select the concrete you'd wish to reinforce. It's that easy. And from here you can visually verify that the configuration meets your needs, and if not, adjust as needed.
Once the reinforcement on a project has been modeled, the next step is to quantify. This can be accomplished by two different avenues, the organizer or report. The organizer synchronizes with model objects and groups them into categories using filters. The physical and informational data associated with these objects is displayed in the object browser to the left. What information is shown is dependent on what categories or objects that are selected. The data can combine identical items and be grouped using column headers to organize. For reinforcement, the bar size, material, shape, and bends are all displayed with running totals provided down at the bottom. With the reinforcement created in the model and simply synchronizing the organizer, we can get an exact count and weight of all reinforcement on our project, or refine down to a specific group or subset of bar. Furthermore, we can take this information out of Tecla structures and share it by exporting to Excel with two simple clicks. The export is a direct copy of the information displayed in the organizer and can be saved away for future use or updated as needed. Alternatively, the Reports function provides a variety of templates and formats for reporting on any object in the model, including reinforcement. Found on the Drawings and Reports ribbon, users can specify which report template to use and report on either the entire model or a specific selection that they dictate. Depending on the template used, reports are created in text, Excel, or even PDF formats and saved directly into the model folder. If you're interested in learning more about rebar and rebar detailing in Tecla structures, please head over to our Tecla User Assistance webpage at www.teclastructures.support.tecla.com. Comprehensive e-learning on rebar sets can be found on the tutorials link of the TUA's main page. Users can also access US-specific tutorials by searching US Rebar Tutorials in the search bar. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.